students we were talking about multiplicity of gamma radiations this lecture is the part 2 of this topic let us start suppose for a nucleus initial state of nucleus has angular momentum denoted by j i and final state nucleus has angular momentum equal to j f suppose this is initial state and this state is the final state and if dx h takes place then energy is given out in the form of gamma radiation this state is the initial state and this state is the final state now for final state gamma ray photon is also present so for photon we can say angular momentum for photon is equal to f and according to law of conservation of angular momentum we can see that initial angular momentum is equal to final angular momentum or we can say that ji is equal to jf plus r these three quantities should form a triangle in this way that if this represents jf and this quantity is l then j f plus l should be equal to j i according to head and tail rule now l has values from minimum to maximum l has values from minimum to maximum or l has values from minimum j i minus j f to maximum j i plus j f and this value will depend in which state the daughter nucleus was and to which state the transition will take place now we want to see that gamma radiations are either electric multipole type or gamma radiations are magnetic multipole type we learn about spin parity we see that parity what is parity it is space reflection symmetry now this parity depends upon angular momentum l value and l depends upon spin so we can say that parity depends upon spin and hence car spin parity now for electric multipole transition for electric multipole type transition 
final parity should be equal to initial minus 1 per L or we can say that final parity should be equal to initial parity and for magnetic multipole type transition the relation is parity final should be equal to parity initial into minus 1 per L plus 1 or we can say that final parity is not equal to initial parity. Here we take the example of germanium 72 which is isotope of germanium 68. Now for germanium 72 J value with spin parity for this state is 2 plus this state is with energy 884 keV and with half life equal to 3.1 picosecond. Other lower energy state is with J value uh, with spin parity 0 plus and ground state is also with same value of spin parity 0 plus. Now there may take two zone transitions. One transition is from 0 plus state to 0 plus state and second transition is from 2 plus state to 0 plus state while this state is with energy 691 keV and its half life is 0.42 micro second. Now there are two transitions. One transition is from 0 plus state to 0 plus state and other transition is from state with angular momentum value 2 plus 2 0 plus or spin parity 2 plus 2 0 plus. We discuss these states one by one. First we take the case the transition takes place from 0 plus to 0 plus. Here Ji value is equal to 0 and Jf value is also equal to 0. In this case j i minus j f is equal to 0 and j i plus j f is also equal to 0. It means there is E naught or M naught type multipolarity. But we see that there is no multipolarity with E naught and M naught so this transition from 0 plus to 0 plus is not allowed by gamma decay. Hence here there is internal conversion. Here there is internal conversion. It should be noted that students if multipolarity is non-zero then also internal conversion is possible. Here in this case, we see that multipolarity is zero, but if multipolarity is even non-zero, then also internal conversion is possible. Now we see second case that transition takes place from two plus state to zero plus state. Here J i minus J f is equal to two and J i plus j f is also equal to 2 and also we see that 
in this case there is there is no change in parity 2 plus 0 plus no change in parity parity is not changing so it means that it is not m type condition it is e type transition and to satisfy this condition that parity is not changing we will proceed by this formula that parity final is equal to parity initial into minus 1 per L as here L is equal to 2 so it is E2 type transition or we can say that it is electric quadrupole type it is electric quadrupole type students here we take another example of indium 117. Indium 117 has two states with J values or with spin parity. First state is with J i initial state with spin parity half minus and final state with J value or spin parity equal to 9 by 2 plus. Here we see that there is a parity change. This state is with energy value 315 keV. And if transition takes place from this state to this one, then as there is parity change and L value will change from Ji minus Gf to Ji plus j f or l value will change from 4 to 5 if we see that l value will equal to 4 then we will proceed by this formula that final parity final is equal to into minus 1 per L plus 1 because we have to proceed by this formula if we proceed with this formula then there will be a parity change minus half to 9 by 2 plus and there is of course final parity not equal to initial parity so it is now by ML formula it is M4 type multi polarity. If we say that L is equal to 5, then we will proceed by this formula parity final is equal to parity initial minus 1 per L. When we will proceed by this formula, then initial parity will not be equal to final parity. And now it is there is no there is no m type. There is no m type multipolarity. It is E five type multipolarity. Now we have to see that is it m four type multipolarity or E 5 type multipolarity. We want to see that what polarity is most probable from M4 and E5. That multipolarity is most probable which is with low value of L. As M4 is with low value of L, so M4 is most probable 
and its probability order is 10 power minus 5. But in case we see that L is same both for E and M, then it is found that E is most probable and its probability order is 10 power 2. Students, this was discussion on multiplicity of gamma radiations. Goodbye.